Hey, boys and girls. It's time for Uncle Jay Explains the News. Now here's the guy who helps little minds understand big news stories, Uncle Jay. Hi, boys and girls. Well, there's a lot going on in the news, and some of it is not very good. Bank of America's profits went down on Thursday 32%. Citigroup's went down on Monday 57%. And rumors are that Lindsay Lohan went down on 86% of the people she met in rehab. Let's wish everybody in the news a speedy recovery, especially Notre Dame. Well, Uncle Jay's news word for this week is provoke. Provoke means to make somebody mad, even when you don't have to. President Bush made the people in China mad last week by buddying up to a guy that they don't like. I, I think he's that famous guy that, that plays the cello? Maybe. And then right around the same time, Congress seemed to provoke the people in Turkey about something bad that happened there 90 years ago. Because, you know, there's nothing going on in this country in this century that Congress seems to worry about, except Rush Limbaugh. So now two countries are furious at America, and people are worried what resolution Congress might come up with next. Lord knows what that might be. Well, something else in the news that tended to a lot of anger was a middle school in Maine that was giving out school supplies that Uncle Jay sure didn't get when he was a kid in school. I, I couldn't even get my hands on the good National Geographics. Jack Baisley kept hogging them all. He, he wouldn't. In other news, the bones of a giant dinosaur were found in Argentina. They say it weighed eight tons, boys and girls, and they think it lived on Earth between 88 million and 6,000 years ago. The dinosaur now has been given to Ellen DeGeneres, who is desperately trying to find a loving home for it. Well, now, boys and girls, it's time to answer one of your news questions. This week it comes from Jan in Las Vegas. Hi, Jan. Jan writes, Dear Uncle Jay, in school, they teach us to not shove to the front of the line and to always be nice. But in the news, all the states are fighting to vote for president first, and the candidates are starting to say mean things about each other. Aren't grown-ups supposed to show kids the right way to behave? Thanks, Jan. Good question. And very timely, too, because we're only about two weeks away from Election Day, which means we're only about two months away from the year when we're only 11 months away from choosing the person who, in January of 2009, starts running for re-election. And yes, Jan, grown-ups should be better role models for children. Candidates especially should be perfect examples of uh, sincerity, consistency, experience, faithfulness, and truthiness. Well, boys and girls, send your news questions to Uncle Jay at UncleJayExplains.com. Check back every Monday when Uncle Jay explains the news. And remember, a good kid is good news. <laughs> <laughs>